Hi everyone, I'm Miss Lawler and I'm the athletic trainer here at Hawthorne High School. I wanted to give a quick presentation on our school and how to make sure that your child is registered online for their sport. Our school is a new site that we're using to register online for any athletic program here at the high school as well as the middle school, and it can be found by going to the high school homepage and clicking on the athletics tab. Once you're on the athletic page, you're going to scroll down to the important links and you're going to click on the one that says our school today. You'll then be directed to the our school homepage and you're going to click on the registration button in the middle and it'll give you a drop down menu to choose either Hawthorne High School or Lincoln Middle School athletic registration. Once you decide which one you're going to use, for this presentation we're going to use the high school, it'll bring you to a login page. If you already have a username and password from registering for the fall or the winter, you'll be asked to input that information, but if you haven't already, you'll be asked to create a login. So here's the login page, and if you don't have an account, you'll click the I don't have an account at the top right, and it'll bring you to the sign up page. So you're going to create a username and password that'll be easily remembered, and I would suggest something that your kids would know as well, so that way they are able to also go online and check or they can register with you. All right. And when logging in, it is going to ask you for your username and password, not your email and password, so make sure you know what your username is. And then you're going to click on the box that says, I'm not a robot. It'll ask you to click on a couple pictures, and then it will let you sign up. Once you create an account, this is going to be the same account that you use for any sport registrations or any other child that you have to register as well. So this will be your family account. So you're going to click on the sign up after you're done with all of those steps and it's going to ask you to go confirm your account through your email. So it'll send you an email with a link and you're going to click on that and it'll confirm your account for you and it should redirect you right back to the Our School page. It should actually bring you right to your family account. However, if it doesn't, log out and then just log back in, clicking on the registration button again, and it'll bring you back to that sign up page where you can then input your username and password. So once you're on and you click register, you're going. there are six sections on the left hand side. For the first one, it's select student. So if you have multiple children, you will have to fill this out a few times. Two is selecting the activity. So say you have someone that's participating in a fall sport, they're playing tennis, and then they're playing basketball in the winter, you'll have to re-register come the winter time for basketball. Step three is all the parent information. As you can see, there are some sections that have asterisks and then there are some that do not. Anything with an asterisk is required. However, if the more information that could be provided, the better. Section four is the only part that's gonna be skipped entirely. You're just gonna go down to the bottom and hit next page. All physical forms should be turned into the main office or to myself as a hard copy or through email. There is another presentation on the physical tutorial, just how to make sure that everything is filled out correctly. So that way we can get your child cleared as quick as possible by our school physician. Step five is any medical information. So as you can see, the primary doctor preferred hospital, none of that is required information. However, if you wanna provide it, the more information, the better. And then section six, it says others. This is gonna include your health history update. So this used to be done as a paper copy, but now we have it online with the registration to hopefully make things a little bit easier for you. And like the registration, this part does have to be filled out before each sport season. So physicals are only turned in once a year. However, this health history update is filled out so that we know if there have been any changes since the physical. So please just make sure that all of that's filled out. And then towards the bottom, there will be parent and student signatures that need to be typed in and dated. So just make sure that everything's filled out so that way you can submit it and get your child registered. Right, so once they're registered, it's gonna bring you back to your family account page. At the top here is where the family name or the parent's name. So however, when you're registering, whatever you register as, that family name will be at the top there. The child's name will be under student and their activity will be to the left-hand side. So for example, this one was done for cheerleading. This is, was a cheerleading for the winter. Say you have a daughter that's cheering in the fall and the winter, you still have to have separate registrations. 
So if you have fall cheerleading and then winter basketball, spring softball, they do all have to be registered per sport. And then you'll see under final clearance, this currently says pending. This will change and it'll be changed by an administrator, so either myself or by Mr. Mazaka. And once it is changed with that cleared status, you will be emailed to know that your child is cleared and they can start coming to practice. So if you're registering a new student or if you're registering your son or daughter for another sport, you're gonna click this register button here and it'll give you a drop down menu. It'll allow you to either choose the student that you already have registered or how to register a new student. And then a new registration does have to be done for each sport. I know I'm sorry I keep repeating myself. It's just very important that if they registered for something in the fall that they do still register for their sport in the winter. Even though we have their information on file, we do need it for each sport for that health history update. Especially with COVID, we've added those questions into the health history update. And here are just some important links that you can use to help you with all of this. Here's the R school registration link. We have the physical form link and an asthma action plan link, which would need to be turned in with the physical when you're turning in the hard copy every year. If you have any questions on anything, feel free to email me um, or you can call me and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and go Bears!